Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class today. In our previous classes, we have been doing a lot of things. We have done Ageru, Morau, Sashi Ageru and Itadaku. And also last time we did about Shogatsu. We learnt about this very nice festival in Japan, Oshogatsu, what they eat there, what all things they make how they use phrases over there in uh, Shogatsu time, what all they say, what is the action. So well today also we will talk a little about Shogatsu. We will also talk about another very interesting and very popular festival of Japan. And of course, we will do something new today related to Ageru, Sashi Ageru, Itadaku and Murao and something else as well. So well, before I actually start telling you something today, something new, we will do the assignments as I always do. So well, open your assignment sheets and let us see what is there. Well, the first one is match group A with group B and make proper sentences. Kuruma no naka ni dare ga imasu ka? So well, naka over here can also be removed and kuruma ni dare ga imasu ka can be anata wa shoumatsu ni nani o shitai desu ka? Then we have watashi wa kotoshi kazoku to ryoko o shimasu. Over here to is given. You can use watashi wa kazoku to issho ni ryoko o shimasu. That makes it very clear. You can remove the issho ni and also put the ishoni over there whichever way you feel comfortable. Kaidan no soba ni jitensha ga arimasu. Ni and ga is a pattern and you state something with that. Ginko wa ano takai tatemono desu. Ano over here again is used. Can you tell me why? Well, because the subject is known to the listener and the speaker. Then, anata wa donna shousetsu o yomitai desu ka? Donna, which type of? Rao san wa sengetsu hikkoshi o shimashita because of sengetsu shimashita is used time expression in the past. Tanaka san wa hachiji ni kairi mashita. Hachiji ni kairi mashita. After time, ni particle will be used. Kino tomodachi to issho ni again, you can leave or you can use omoshiroi ega o mimashita. Then we have ryoshin wa indo ni imasu. Over here you can see, if it was a question, ryoshin wa indo ni imasu ka, then Go Ryoshin would have been used because it is about someone else's parents. Over here it is Ryoshin and a statement. Ryoshin wa indo ni imasu. Thus it is my parents. Now the second one is look at the pictures and use ageru, morau, sashi ageru and itadaku. You have done these. This is in plain form, in dictionary form, let us see what it is. You can see this picture, this lady, she has received something from someone, it could be her husband. So let us see. Shujin ni omiyage o muratta. Over here, because it is her husband and she is talking, thinking, thus it is shujin. If someone else is to talk about her husband, it has to be Goshuji. Then 
Again, he is giving something. Let us see what he is giving. Well, Tanaka san is giving his telephone number to Mariko san. Mariko san ni denwa bango o ageta. Then we have this gentleman over here. He is receiving something or could be giving something. If we remove this uh, arrow from here, so well, what is it? Sensei ni itadaita received from sensei because of the arrow, the arrow is pointing towards him and if we remove the arrow then sensei ni age mashita or sashi age mashita as it should be in case of your teacher. Then we have someone giving something at the post office. This sign over here is for post office. So, what is it? Okasan ni agemasu. This gentleman is thinking, I will give or send this to my okasan, to my mother. So, okasan ni agemasu. Then, what is this? Somebody is getting married, and then we have a car over here, and let us see what it says. Kanai ni kuruma o ageta. Kanai is wife. So, watashi is not written over here. Kanai ni to my wife, kuruma o age mashita, I gave. So, I hope you got this age mashita, itadakimashita, moraimashita, sashi age mashita, properly, correctly, without any mistake. Now, in this third one we have match words in group A with kanji characters in group B. So, we have these words over here and we have the kanji characters. Let us see what it is. Takai, shiroi and you can see shiroi over here is very similar to nichi except for that stroke on top. Sensei, toki doki and this character or this symbol signifies or shows that this is what is being repeated over here. The same Hatsuon or the same reading is being repeated. Shogatsu, Yasumi, Hidarite, Migi Ashi and in the end we have Iri Guchi. Now, you will see Iri Guchi is very similar to Hito, but there is a slight difference. You have this stroke here on top. Of course, it is not a stroke as such, but just to separate it or make it a little different from Hito, which is a straight line, this bow has been given. Now, this one is fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. The clue is given over here in English and you are supposed to write it in Japanese. Okasan nani wo tabetai desu ka? Then we have watashi wa sensei ni jisho wo itadakimashita. Then we have keiki wa oishi kara kodomo ni agetai. Buchou ni wine wo あげました。明日会社へ行きません。Not so, watashi wa kanai ni saifu o moratta. Jikan nai kara tomodachi ni aimasen. Jikan is time, nai kara is no time, I do not have time, thus tomodachi ni aimasen. And ni over here is for aimasen. Verb aimas will always take particle ni. 
私は毎日洗濯をします。私は一日に2回歯を磨きます。磨きます means to brush or to polish。そう、靴を磨きます。歯を磨きます。一日に2回。You have done kai. Kai means number of times an activity is performed. So, 一日に二回 twice in a day. Ha o migaki mas. Well, that finishes your, your assignments, your shukudai. I hope you all did it properly and correctly. Last time I had also given you a very small shukudai about oshogatsu. We had done shogatsu, we had talked about shogatsu, seen pictures. So, I had asked you to collect some more material on shogatsu. Well, I also collected some again and the phrase that I gave you was ake mashite ome deto gozai mas Kotoshi mo mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Well, you already know the meaning, what this means, what this means. Now, over here, there is a new word for you. The phrase is the same. There is a new word, shinnen, right on top. You can see. So, shin. Nen. Shin nen. Shin nen means shin means new and nen means year. So, a very, very nice year for you. I congratulate you. I wish you all the best in the coming year. And please let us continue our association, our friendship in this year as well. And one thing you have to see over here in the picture which is given. You have to pay attention to where your hands are when you are saying this. It should be straight and not anywhere you want. You have to bow and then you have to say, Shinnen akemashite omedetou gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. And then the answer will be the same thing again repeated by the other person. So, well, you should keep that in mind. And all this is for festivity. You can read more over here about Oshogatsu. One interesting thing is that at Shogatsu time, which starts around the 28th of December and continues on till the 4th or the 5th of January, there is a small party which is mentioned over here. It is a Bonenkai party, which is the year ending party which all Japanese celebrate with friends and family to, to sort of say goodbye to the year which has gone and remember the year with friends and family and welcome the new year on Oshogatsu day. So, there is something about Bonenkai, you can, you can read about it later and also something very interesting in Japan is during New Year, what you do first has great meaning. For example, when you go to office first time, when you meet people first time, when you smile or enjoy or laugh the first time, see the sunrise on New Year day, go to a shrine, all these things are very, very important because that is what you do first time in the New Year. Now, there is something new over here. This is a new word, toki doki, which means sometimes. There is a small conversation here between A and B. Tanaka san to or A san to B san no kaiwa desu. Watashi wa ikkai yomimasu kara kiite kudasai. Tanaka san, 
毎日うちで晩ご飯を食べますかはい、毎日うちで食べます。That is one answer which you have done. You can also say, いいえ、毎日うちで食べません。This also you have done, which means, no, I do not eat every day at home. Now there could be another answer using this simple word over here. It could be, Toki doki tabemas. Hai tabemas. Ie tabemasen. And then toki doki. A new word for you toki doki, meaning sometimes. Toki doki tabemas. For example, mai nichi ega o mimas ka? Toki doki mimas. Hai mai nichi mimas. Ie mai nichi mimasen. Or toki doki mimas. So you have the practice over here. In place of Tanaka san, you can use any of these words given. In place of uchi, which is a place, you could use shokudo, cafeteria, restaurant, tomodachi no uchi. And then in place of tabemas, a verb, you can use nomimas, nemas, mimas. Any of these verbs, but remember the vocabulary has to be related. You cannot use something for tabemas, which is to be used for watching, for mimas, for no mimas, or for ikimas. So, please, the vocabulary has to be connected. For example, sensei, mai nichi shokudo de gohan o tabemas ka? Iie. Toki doki tabemas. Taro kun, mai nichi cafeteria de kohi o nomimas ka? Hai, mai nichi cafeteria de kohi o nomimas. So you can try practicing this with your partner at home, but please do it loudly. Now, we have done verbs in plain form, dictionary form. We have done the past form, past plain form. We have done the negative form. Now, today we will do the negative past. We have done iku, itta, ika, nai. These are the three that we have done. Today we will do ikana katta. Ikana katta. Now, how do you make ikana katta? Simple. Yomanai. Nomanai. Ikanai. Remove the I from here. Yomana katta. Nomana katta. And ikana katta. That makes it past negative plane. So, it is very simple, it is not difficult at all. All you need to do is to get used to the sound. You can repeat after me now and we will practice right here. Ikimasen deshita. Ikanakatta. Kairimasen deshita. Kairanakatta. Aimasen deshita. Awanakatta. Kaimasen deshita. Kawanakatta. Migakimasen deshita. Migakanakatta. Hanashimasen deshita. Hanasanakatta. Kakimasen deshita. Kakanakatta. Kikimasen deshita. Kikanakatta. Arimasen deshita. And it is nakatta. So, please you will notice somewhere there is a w, somewhere there is an s only instead of s h i. So, well, these are all exceptions, and slowly you will understand how these exceptions are made.
So, well we will do that. Now, you could you could do that at home and we will go ahead with our lesson. Listen to this radio dialogue and let us see how much you have understood. Kore wa omoshiroi shousetsu desu ka? So desu, omoshiroi desu yo. Doko de kaimashita ka? Kaimasen deshita, sensei ni itedakimashita. Itsu desu ka? Watashi no tanjoubi ni sensei ga watashi ni kono hon o kuremashita. I will read it out once and then explain. Kore wa omoshiroi shousetsu desu ka? So desu, omoshiroi desu yo. Doko de kaimashita ka? いませんでした。先生にいただきました。いつですか私の誕生日に先生が私にこの本をくれました。So there are a few new things over here. Most of it you have done. There is a new word くれました。That's what we are going to do today. We have done あげるもらう、いただく、差し上げる。Now we will do Kureru and kudasaru today. How it is to be used? Well, we will see right away. This is in the script, you can see, and this is the translation. May not be literal translation because it may change the meaning. It is what you would say in English. Well, kudasaru and kureru. Now, You can read what is written over there, but A gives to B. A wa B ni agiru. A wa B kara morau. A wa B ni sashi agiru. A wa B ni itadaku. So, you can see your position is very, very clear. Sashi ageru and itadaku are polite for ageru and morau. Now, there is a new word over here, kureru and kudasaru. What happens with that? Let us see. That is exactly what is given. A wa B ni hono ageru. A wa B kara hon o morau. And then what do we have over here? We have B wa A ni hon o kureru. So, now what happens? In this, your position is here. B is over here, higher in rank, higher in older, age, rank, position, everything much above you, higher and you are placed over here or a formal situation. And when someone gives something to you over here, then it is kureru. Is that all right? Please remember, A wa B ni ageru, A wa B ni sashi ageru, A wa B kara morau, A wa B kara Itadaku. Now, over here A is the subject, over here B is your subject and B wa A ni kureru, B gives to A. That is the only difference over here. All along A has been the subject over here, B becomes the subject and we are talking about what B is giving A. So, please That is very important with kureru and kudasaru. Sensei wa watashi ni hon o kuremashita. Sensei gave a book to me. So, sensei is the subject over here and please you will see now what it is. This is what you have done so far and this is what we are going to do now. B over here, A over here. So, naturally B is a little higher, older in age, higher in rank, in position, 
could be your boss, could be your teacher, could be someone you have met for the first time and what is it? B gives something to A and it is kureru or kuda saru. B wa A ni kureru or kuda saru. B gives to A. So, please remember with kureru and kuda saru it is always someone senior, older is giving something to someone junior. Now, you, you can practice kureru and kudasaru. Look at the picture over here. There is this gentleman and a lady and he is giving something to her. So, let us see what it is. Tanaka san wa watashi ni presento o kure mashita. From this lady's side, he is giving something to her. Thus, Tanaka san wa watashi ni presento o kure mashita. Formal situation. Over here, he is giving money. So, well, Tanaka san wa watashi ni okane o kure mashita. He is giving money to me or gave money to me. What is there in the third picture? Well, we have Tanaka san again looking at his passport probably is going out. So, well let us see what it is. Oto san wa watashi ni hikouki no kippu wo kure mashita. Oto san is my father. Oto san wa watashi ni hikouki is plane. No kippu is ticket o kure mashita. Gave it to me. Now, in our previous lessons we did Hiragana. We completed 46 syllables of Hiragana and now we will try to do Katakana. You will see the difference in Hiragana and Katakana very clearly now. Katakana is very angular, Katakana is more masculine as it has come from kanji characters. You can see straight lines over here whereas, Hiragana if you go back to your lessons you will see it is more cursive, it is round, it is more feminine. So, well, it is given over here very clearly. You can see it. Ah, you can see how the stroke order is 1 and then like this 2. Ah, E and in E it has to start from here and not like this. Then U, you can see again U very clearly, A the first one is small and the second one is a little longer and you have O in the end. So, you can see how angular they are and go back to the slides, go back to the lessons and see how cursive and round hiragana is. And now, you have all of it on one slide try to remember. That is enough for today. You have lot of work to do, lot many things to learn now, lot of sentences to make, lot of, lot of conversation to do with your friends. So, I leave you here for you to practice at home, learn all the vocabulary and till our next lesson. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Mina san mata aimashou.